China's technological dominance is capturing worldwide attention. The nation has been making significant strides in advanced technology, and its latest breakthrough is the Kuantianhao, a supersonic jet aiming to reach speeds double those of the Concorde. Scheduled for its first test flight in 2026, this mysterious aircraft could transform high-speed travel and challenge global air dominance. As the world watches China's rapid advancements, a pressing question emerges. Are the United States and other nations secretly developing their supersonic jets to keep up? What are the capabilities of China's new supersonic jet? Join us as we explore the exciting features of China's newly unveiled supersonic jet. The Concorde once transformed air travel by making supersonic flights a reality. Its sleek design and incredible speed allowed passengers to cross the Atlantic in just a few hours. However, in 2000, tragedy struck when a crash shattered the dream of continuous supersonic service. The accident not only raised serious safety concerns, but also marked the beginning of the end for the iconic jet, leading to its retirement in 2003. For years after, it seemed as though the era of supersonic travel had come to a definitive close. However, that wasn't the case. Throughout aviation history, many nations have invested heavily in developing supersonic passenger aircraft, hoping to revolutionize air travel. Yet these projects often faced obstacles, from high cost to technical limitations, ultimately leading to failure. These past struggles make China's new supersonic jet project all the more intriguing. Recently, China unveiled a prototype of the Kuantianhao, or Soaring Monkey, a supersonic aircraft designed by Sichuan Lingkong, Tianxing Technology Corporation. This aircraft can reach speed up to Mach 4, double that of the legendary Concorde. This ambitious project has caught the world's attention, signaling China's bold move to lead the race for ultra-fast passenger planes. The Kuantianhao was showcased in Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province. It is designed to fly in near space, a high altitude zone between 20 and 100 kilometers above the Earth. Operating at this level helps the aircraft avoid heavy air resistance, allowing it to travel faster and more efficiently. The developers also plan to test advanced materials that can withstand extreme heat, cutting edge aerodynamics, and robust propulsion systems. The company expects to conduct its first test flight as early as 2026. Deng Fan, the project's chief engineer, believes that supersonic passenger planes have the potential to make air travel much faster more cost-effective, and more reliable. Imagine flying from Beijing to New York in just a few hours. This could be a reality if the project succeeds. Deng's team also hopes to create a future where long-distance travel becomes quicker and more accessible. This effort is part of a global trend to revive supersonic air travel, which has largely been left in the past since the Concorde stopped flying in 2003. Many countries and private companies are now exploring ways to build faster, more efficient and more environmentally friendly aircraft. If successful, these new planes could completely change the way we think about long distance travel. However, there are challenges to overcome. Flying at such high speeds generates a lot of heat, which can damage the aircraft. The team needs to find materials strong enough to handle this heat without adding too much weight. Additionally, noise pollution caused by the sonic boom, which is a loud noise created when a plane breaks the sound barrier could create problems for communities living under flight paths. Finding solutions to these issues will be crucial for making supersonic air travel practical. Despite these challenges, the idea of supersonic passenger flights is gaining momentum. Several other companies in the US and Europe are also working on similar projects, creating a competitive environment in the aerospace industry. Each team aims to be the first to bring supersonic travel back to the skies but with better technology and fewer environmental issues. China's ambition to lead in this field shows its growing influence in global aviation and technological innovation. If the Kuantianhao succeeds, it could mark a new era in air travel, making long flights faster and more efficient than ever before. This nation is also making big strides in jet engine technology, catching the attention of experts worldwide. They recently developed a dual-mode high-speed turbo jet engine similar to the Blackbird's 8 engine. 
The J-58 used a turbojet with an afterburner to boost its power at high speed. China's new engine has a similar approach. It compresses air with turbines at low speeds, but switches to a direct air inlet for higher thrust when cruising at high speeds. This design is meant to help their new aircraft outpace the Blackbird while being more fuel efficient. Now, researchers from the Taihang National Laboratory, a top aerospace engine research center in southwest China, have successfully completed ground testing of the new turbojet engine. This advanced engine can reach speeds of up to Mach 4, faster than the SR-71. What makes this achievement even more impressive is the use of advanced artificial intelligence to help the engine run smoothly and efficiently, as reported by the South China Morning Post. The Taihang National Laboratory has a strong reputation for developing powerful engines, like the Taihang series, which powers China's top fighter jets, including the J-20. These engines are considered crucial for China's Air Force, as it works to match or surpass the military technology of other world powers. The new engine could play a key role in China's next-generation fighter jets, and it meets the military's strict requirement of being entirely sourced within China meaning no reliance on foreign parts. One major challenge faced by China's engineers was meeting the strict demands of the People's Liberation Army. The military wanted an engine faster and more efficient than the Blackbird while maintaining reliability. The team had to overcome the limits of locally made central processing units used in the aircraft. There was a problem with the onboard computer's ability to accurately assess the engine's status, leading to a gap between the expected and actual engine performance. This issue, combined with tiny manufacturing errors and slight changes in component performance over time, could mess up the engine's control. The team tackled this problem by developing a special enhanced HiMac adaptive model to make the engine smarter. They also created a unique artificial intelligence algorithm to help the engine's processors quickly make complex calculations. Through rigorous ground testing, they proved the engine could run smoothly and effectively for extended periods meeting strict military standards. Despite these advances, China still faces criticism for lagging behind the West in jet engine technology. Currently, they do not have domestically made engines for their civilian jets. However, experts believe China is catching up fast in areas like heat management, advanced materials for engine blades, and overall design. Their decision to limit the export of engine components and manufacturing equipment shows their commitment to leading in this field. Recently, the public test flights of two sixth-generation fighter jets hinted that China could be ready to take the lead in aerospace technology. While China pushes to establish itself as a leader in aviation, the United States has been reigniting its own ambitions for supersonic travel. After the legendary Concorde's final flight in 2003, the skies seemed to close for commercial supersonic travel. The Concorde, developed by France and the UK, ruled the supersonic world while the U.S. struggled to match it. However, the dream of building a supersonic jet never entirely faded for the United States. And after years of pauses and failures, that dream is now reawakening with Boom Supersonic. For decades, the United States tried to develop a supersonic airliner that could compete with the Concorde. In the 1960s, there was the ambitious but ultimately canceled Boeing 2707 project. Financial challenges, environmental concerns, and a growing awareness of noise pollution from sonic booms led to its downfall. The U.S. government pulled funding, and the project was abandoned, leaving the country without a commercial supersonic aircraft. As the Concords continued to zip across the Atlantic, America had no equivalent to showcase. When the Concord's last flight landed in 2003, many believed supersonic passenger travel was over for good. Several attempts to revive it faced failure, and the United States watched as the remaining Concords sat in museums. It seemed like the country that once put a man on the moon couldn't conquer commercial supersonic flight. However, the spirit of innovation didn't disappear. Enter Boom Supersonic, a company determined to bring the U.S. back into the supersonic game. On January 28th, Boom's XB-1 aircraft broke the sound barrier during a test flight in Mojave, California. This marked a historic moment. It was the first time an independently developed U.S. jet went supersonic. The flight took place in the same airspace where Chuck Yeager first broke the sound barrier in 1947, a symbolic connection that added to the achievement. 
Boom's supersonic success was not just a technical win, it was a statement. It showed that the United States is serious about leading the next era of supersonic travel. The XB-1, often called the baby boom, is a stepping stone to the company's bigger goal, the Overture airliner. Overture aims to carry 64 to 80 passengers at Mach 1.7, almost twice the speed of today's planes. The plan is for Overture to fly by the end of the decade, bringing the U.S. back to the forefront of supersonic travel. Boom's determination to overcome past failures is impressive. Unlike the Concorde, which had a complicated droop nose to help pilots see the runway, the XB-1 uses an advanced augmented reality system. Boom also uses digital engineering, running simulations that are faster and cheaper than the old wind tunnel tests of the 1960s. This technology helps them learn from past mistakes while pushing forward. The company's vision goes beyond just making fast planes. CEO Blake Scholl dreams of a world where people can fly anywhere in the world in four hours for $100. It may sound ambitious, but it speaks to the daring spirit that drives Boom. The United States may have stumbled in its earlier attempts, but the hope for a supersonic future never truly died. Boom is not alone in this journey. Major U.S. airlines like American Airlines and United Airlines have already placed orders for the Overture. The construction of the Overture Superfactory in Greensboro, North Carolina, shows just how serious the effort is. With plans to produce up to 66 Overture jets each year, the United States is preparing to claim its place as a leader in supersonic travel. To keep noise down during takeoff, Boom's engines are designed to be no louder than current subsonic jets. They're also committed to environmental responsibility, planning to use up to 100% sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF. This approach aims to cut emissions and reduce their carbon footprint making supersonic travel more eco-friendly than before. The Overture will also be lighter and more efficient than Concorde, thanks to modern materials like titanium and carbon fiber. These advanced materials, combined with modern design techniques, make it possible for the Overture to have better fuel efficiency and performance than its predecessor. Boom has caught the interest of several airlines, securing multiple orders for the Overture. However, it's worth noting that Concorde also had a lot of early enthusiasm, with airlines placing orders before most of them backed out. History shows that having initial interest doesn't always guarantee success. Another challenge is the world we live in today. In the 1960s and 1970s, flying across the Atlantic for a quick business meeting seemed necessary. Now with remote work and video calls, the need for such fast, pricey travel isn't as strong. The question remains, is there still a real need for a supersonic airliner in the 2020s? Or is it just a luxury for the wealthy? While supersonic travel today feels like a luxury for the wealthy, the future could be different. As technology moves forward, there's hope that faster-than-sound flights will become more accessible to regular travelers. Boom, supersonic efforts could be a step toward that goal, but they're not alone in trying to reshape supersonic flight. The Lockheed Martin X-59 Quest is another exciting project that is aimed at bringing back supersonic travel, this time without the thunderous booms that once rattled windows and annoyed communities. This experimental aircraft is part of NASA's Low Boom Flight Demonstrator Project, designed to show that planes can fly faster than sound quietly enough for everyday use. If successful, it could change air travel, making fast, quiet, supersonic flights possible over land. In February 2016, Lockheed Martin started working on the X-59 after winning a contract from NASA. They planned to begin flight tests by 2021, but delays pushed the first flight to 2025. The aircraft is expected to cruise at a speed of Mach 1.42 at an altitude of 55,000 feet. What makes it special is its ability to produce a low thump instead of a loud boom when breaking the sound barrier. Traditional supersonic jets created such loud noise that they were banned from flying over land. Lockheed Martin faced many challenges while designing the X-59. They tested small models of the aircraft in wind tunnels to see how it would handle different air pressures and speeds. These tests started in 2017 and went up to speeds faster than Mach 1.6. In April 2018, NASA awarded Lockheed Martin a $247.5 million contract to complete the X-59. By the end of that year, NASA and Lockheed had tested an 8% scale model
to check the plane's stability, control, and how the air would flow around it. The X-59 does not have a front window for the pilot, which is quite unusual. Instead, it uses an external vision system, a mix of cameras and sensors that give the pilot a clear view of the surroundings. This unique design helps maintain the aircraft's sleek, quiet shape. In May 2019, major parts of the X-59 were put together, and by 2020, the wing assembly was finished. However, construction delays meant that the first flight was pushed to 2025. To see if the X-59 quiet thump is acceptable, NASA ran tests over Galveston, Texas in 2018. They used an F-A-18 Hornet to create similar sounds, which were monitored by 400 local residents. Each person got $25 per week to share their feedback. This test helped NASA understand how people react to quieter sonic booms, and the data gathered will be essential for future community flights. Lockheed Martin finished building the plane's engine, a General Electric F-414 GE-100, in November 2022. This powerful engine can produce 22,000 pounds of thrust, helping the X-59 reach its high speed. In August 2023, Lockheed Martin showed off the assembled X-59 rolling out of a hangar, marking a big step forward. The first flight, now planned for 2025, will test how quiet the plane really is. NASA plans to conduct test flights over different U.S. cities to see how communities react. The data from these tests will be shared with organizations like the International Civil Aviation Organization and the Federal Aviation Administration by 2027. If all goes well, the rules against supersonic flights over land could change as early as 2028. The X-59 could also pave the way for other countries and companies to develop quiet supersonic jets. France, Germany, Spain, the UK, Italy, and Japan are all working on advanced fighter jets and aircraft technology. If the X-59 can prove that fast, quiet, and efficient supersonic travel is possible, it might inspire more projects around the world. Another major player in this race is Hermius Corporation. Founded in 2018 by Skylar Shuford, Hermius aims to develop a hypersonic aircraft that can reach a speed of Mach 5, more than twice as fast as the Concorde, the legendary supersonic airliner that retired in 2003. To achieve the development of this aircraft, Hermaeus is working closely with the U.S. Air Force and NASA, combining their expertise to create this groundbreaking aircraft. But Hermaeus isn't the only one in the game. In 2018, Boeing introduced its very own concept for a hypersonic passenger airliner that could reach speeds close to Mach 6. However, there haven't been many updates on the project since its launch, leaving people curious about its progress. Beyond the U.S., other nations are also joining the race. Russia, known for developing the Tu-144, the first commercial supersonic jet, revealed a model of a new supersonic business jet at the Moscow Air Show in 2017. This jet is expected to cruise at about 1,300 miles per hour and produce quieter sonic booms, allowing it to fly over land. However, Russia has kept many details under wraps, adding a layer of mystery to its progress. France and Japan have teamed up to revive the idea of supersonic passenger travel. In 2003, the French company EADS, which later became part of Airbus, partnered with Japanese companies to develop a Concorde replacement. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency tested a model designed to carry 300 passengers at Mach 2. And in 2021, they joined forces with Mitsubishi, Kawasaki, and Subaru to develop a new supersonic jet by 2030. If successful, this project could bring a new era of supersonic travel to Asia. Several other companies are quietly working behind the scenes to create the next generation of supersonic airliners. Despite the technical, economic, and environmental challenges, they are pushing to be the first to bring supersonic travel back to the skies. As countries and companies continue to compete, the dream of supersonic air travel is getting closer. While the challenges are significant, the possibility of faster-than-ever air travel is pushing innovation to new heights. If successful, these projects could change the way we travel, making the world more connected than ever before. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.